there, uh, my name is Kristen Richmond. I'm the Volunteer Engagement Manager with 365 Health. Uh, first, I wanna say thank you for volunteering at your local community health fair. Um, this is a critical resource across the state of Colorado and it's only possible um, through amazing volunteers such as yourself, so thank you. Um, if you're watching this video, it means you are volunteering for the height, weight, and BMI screening station. So um, when you get here, you'll know it's your station because of the sign posted behind me. And there will be protocols for your specific screening at the table. Um, so as soon as you get here, I want you to just take a glance through this, review it, make sure you understand all of the procedures, and there also will be the medical coordinator around to answer any questions you may have. Um, the important thing to know about this is at the back of this protocol, we have the height conversion chart. There is the waist circumference chart, inches to centimeters. And then on the last sheet, there's the actual body mass index calculator. So these are all resources that are meant to help you um, do this accurately for the participant. So um, ultimately when you do get this data and this information, you are going to mark their results by the height weight BMI section on the back of the participant copy of their paperwork. Um, this copy will actually be white and not yellow. That is a change for spring 2023. Um, so when you come, you are going to have two tape measures Ideally, these will already be out for you. One of these tape measures will um, be put up against the wall. It needs to start at the zero, at the very edge of the floor, and then taped so that way it's straight and firmly against the wall. Typically, we do with blue tape if it's not already done for you um, to make sure that we're getting an accurate reading. Um, so folks getting their height will typically take off their shoes they'll bump up against to where the tape measure is and you can use a paper or a book to accurately see how tall they are and record that when you're done. Um, the second tape measure that will be there for you is to measure the waist circumference. So you'll have two um, and you'll also have wipes, um, sanitizing wipes at your station and that can be used to sanitize the tape measure that's going around the waist or on the wall if needed. Um, but ultimately we wanna make sure that um, we're wiping down the scale in between use. So um, typically the scale's not on the table, right? It's on the floor. Um, we still have people take off their shoes. So right after they're done doing the height, they should move right onto that scale. So that way we can get an accurate weight for them as well. And again, you're recording it on the participant copy. And then I want you to wipe the scale, especially if people are um, going on bare feet on this. We wanna make sure it's sanitized um, for each participant that's coming through the health fair. Um, so you're taking height, waist, or, waist circumference, weight, you're detailing their BMI, and then based on the chart, you're going to fill out the tally sheet. So each screening station has a medical tally sheet. Um, so if it's not already filled out for you, I want you to write the name of the health fair that you're volunteering at today and the date, and then circle which of these screenings applies to your screening. So you'll find the height, weight, BMI, um, and they're all listed in alphabetical order, so it's easy. Um, it is important to note that if you're doing kids and adult version of this screening, we need separate tally sheets for both. We wanna make sure that we're not combining that data. Uh, we do report it for grants, so it's important to have this data accurate. Um, so there's a box you can see for normal evaluations and for further evaluations. So we're just gonna treat this as a tally. So every participant that's getting a normal evaluation, you're just marking one, two, three, four, right? And then if they need further evaluation, that means that you are going to send them to um, a different screening. So maybe you know it's a nutrition screening or just like the medical education and referral screening station. You're gonna mark that again, like one, two, three, how many participants are you marking for further evaluation based on the medical information that you're collecting at this site. Um, so that is it and thank you for volunteering at the health fair.